Hey everybody, it's Rachel from Rachel is Knitting and in today's video I'm going to show you how to search for patterns using yarn that you've logged in your Ravelry stash. So before I get started, I do want to forewarn you that this video does show screen recordings of the Ravelry platform. So if Ravelry causes harm to you, please click out of this video and I'll see you next time. All right, here we are on the Ravelry homepage, and I must say welcome to the next installment of my Ravelry stash feature appreciation tour. If you haven't seen my previous videos going over the Ravelry stash feature, I highly recommend that you take a minute to go watch those. I walk you through how to log yarn in your Ravelry stash, how to link stashed yarn to a Ravelry project, and how to use the Ravelry queue, most notably how your stash can work with you when using the queue feature. All right, so let's say you're sitting down to peruse Ravelry and you're ready to search for some patterns. So to pull up all of the patterns available for purchase or download, simply click on the advanced search feature at the top of your homepage screen. This is the fastest way to pull up all the patterns that you want to sift through. Now, there's a lot of patterns. There's over a million patterns on Ravelry, which of course can be overwhelming. And there are a lot of different ways to utilize the search filters on the left-hand side of your pattern screen. But before we apply any filters, let's just look at a few different patterns and see how the Ravelry stash feature can influence and assist you as you're looking for your next cast on. So let's just go ahead and click on the ranunculus by Midori Hirose. I'll click on the thumbnail, which will bring me to the pattern page. On the pattern page, there's all sorts of information, including what craft this pattern is, when it was published, what the gauge is, etc. Now here's a really great and helpful line item. As you can see, it says in my stash, and then there's a link to 10 ideas. If I click that, I'll be brought to a page that shows me all of the different options in my stash that I could choose from to make this pattern. Now, these are not the be all end all, especially for the ranunculus pattern because you can use multiple different yarn weights, but this is a great starting point. If you feel like you're at a loss for inspiration and you're just not sure what yarn to use, if you have your stash already logged, Ravelry will do that work for you. But let's go back to the view of all of the patterns available for purchase or download. And let's say you want to apply some search filters, particularly so you can find patterns that you can make with the yarn you've logged in your stash. If you scroll down and you get to the My Notebook category of filters, you'll see that there's an option about halfway through where you can select a box that says Yarn in My Stash. By checking that box, the page will refresh and the only patterns that you'll be shown are patterns that Ravelry thinks you could make with the yarn you've logged in your stash. So for instance, if I click on the Corin cardigan, I'll see that there are linked options from my stash that I could choose from. Since the pattern calls for Cascade 220, those are the three options that are automatically at the front, but if I click on five ideas, I'll be brought to that page where it shows me a more detailed view of other options I could choose. We can see that besides the Cascade yarns, we're also shown the Malabrigo Rios yarn and also some of the Treehouse Knits Redwood Worsted that I have in my stash. Now you'll also notice that if you take a closer look at each different option, for instance, again using the Treehouse Knits Redwood Worsted, I have three different colorways in my stash, but two of them are grayed out. I don't have enough of Scranton What? I only have 113 yards. I also don't have enough of There's a Lot of Beauty in Ordinary Things since I only have about 35 yards. But you can see that the In Bloom option is not grayed out. That means that I do have enough in my stash at 946 yards to consider using that yarn to make this pattern. Let's go back again to the advanced search screen with that filter applied. So I'm only seeing patterns that would fit yarn in my stash. But still, this is a lot to look through. This is 25,000 different patterns, and that's just too much to sift through. So again, we're going to utilize the search filters. Let's say that I'm looking for a cardigan. So under the category section, I'll select clothing and then go down to sweater, click sweater, and then click cardigan. Now the only patterns that I'm shown 
are cardigans that I could knit with from yarn I've logged in my Ravelry stash. But again, this is still a lot. This is 1100 matches. So let's narrow it down even further by scrolling down to the weight category and let's go with fingering. All right, so scroll back up. I see that I only have 191 matches. So that's great. We've gone from 1.3 million patterns to choose from, then down to 25,000, then to 1100, and now we're under 200 hits. Excellent. Let's look at the LaPoof. So on this pattern page, again, I see options from in my stash. I could use three different ideas, including hedgehog fiber sock, long dog yarn bounce sock, cascade heritage, and life in the long grass. But again, I need to look with a discerning eye and upon closer inspection, all of these yardages are grayed out, meaning I don't have enough of these single colorways to work this up. However, if I did want to combine all of these hedgehog fiber skeins and maybe make a fade, I definitely would have enough yardage there. So there's a good way to determine whether or not you have the yarn already without having to dig through the physical storage solution you have for your yarn wherever you keep it in your home or otherwise. You'll also notice on this page where we have our yarn ideas, if I uncheck this box, I'm then shown all of the yarn ideas in the wide world of yarn that exists. This extends well beyond the yarn that I have in my stash, but as you can see with the top option, if I do have it in my stash, there will be a section underneath that entry to signify that I have it in my stash. So again, if I check this box, it's only going to show me yarn from my stash. If I uncheck it, it will show me other yarns that the pattern works with. Let's again go back to the search result page. All right, we're back. So while you don't necessarily need to use these search filters to narrow down your search, you can certainly click on a pattern that catches your eye and see if there are any stash suggestions when visiting the pattern page. But using the search filters certainly helps narrow it down and maybe make your search a little bit more efficient. So I hope that's helpful. Happy searching, happy Ravelry using, and I'll see you later.